so we finally have some huge god of war ps5 news it's officially in the works and we know it's being made why because santa monica studios is hiring so many people at the moment so what is good youtube what's you here if you are new around here make sure to subscribe to never miss any of the videos at the 100 000 subscribe mark i will be giving away something that is so darn cool so let's get in to the video so playstation have officially revealed a playstation 5 announcement event tomorrow as of the time of recording this video it will be tomorrow the 16th of september which is a wednesday playstation will be revealing the price most likely and when it is coming out along with some other games most likely some more footage of horizon forbidden west which is essentially horizon zero dawn 2 most likely some more godfall game godfall gameplay and also most likely demon souls as well as well as the rumored spider-man ps5 kind of which is spider-man miles morales game footage and we'll be getting a lot of new information a lot of details a lot of things have happened over the last week that have kind of forced sony to maybe reveal the price a bit sooner but playstation have always said they're not going to freaking panda they're not xbox they are not going to panda they've said from day one that their console isn't going to be cheap but they've got to count because we are already in september both consoles are coming out in november rumoredly so let's get into it so corey barlog who if you go to twitter is verified he is the guy behind god of war ps4 which came out in 2018 which is only two years ago so if you really think they're releasing god of war ps5 this year then i'm gonna have to tell you guys that you are deluded they're not making a triple a banger on next gen although cory barlog did say that with the ssd it's going to make it so much easier for his team at santa monica studios it's most likely going to be 2022 which would be four years although some people seem to think it's going to be 2021 the end of the year like horizon zero dawn 2 uh, i don't really believe that based on the fact that they are hiring for literally every position every team has a story at santa monica studios we are committed to developing and fostering stories of greatness for everyone on our team and they ironically put god of war ps4 behind it they're hiring art people vfx artists breakable artists tech art lead characters design lead writers programming lead design tool programming gameplay programmers quality insurance qi lead and production so the fact that they are still vamping up this tells me they are heavily into production of god of war ps5 or god of war 2 but essentially it's not god of war 2 so god of war ps5 makes much more current sense so why are they going to reveal it tomorrow well because you know forbidden west horizon zero dawn 2 it's nowhere near coming out it's coming out at the end of next year and they had a tease trailer all we need is a little tease trailer like we've had before for other games it wouldn't be that difficult so the twitter police has been out and Corey barlog has been tweeting some memes or gifts if you like revenge is a dish served cold this is about me my revenge it shall be cold so if you go through the comments loads of big people within the field m b g is saying that yeah it's about god of war ps5 if you literally read all the comments on this post everyone says it's got to be about god of war 5 i just i just can't figure out what what it's about so it's clear that it is god of war 5 it is interesting and it definitely is a hint towards god of war ps5 being revealed tomorrow which would make a lot of sense because we know it's in the works we just don't know what they're doing with it they are hiring massively so it's definitely going to be revealed tomorrow and if it's not revealed tomorrow i would be very very surprised based on the amount of teasers and the amount of stuff that Corey barlog has said so i'm not going to take credit for this but the youtuber mbg says this at Corey barlog updated profile picture to what seems to be ice possibly hinting at the great winter that comes before ragnarok one day before the ps5 showcase yeah already know so yeah i'm gonna back him up and say i'm pretty confident that this will be happening tomorrow it makes a lot of sense they don't need to because when it comes to exclusives they're already killing the comp no they're actually wait there is no competition to kill so they're already destroying it aren't they they really 
really are. So there's a lot of big other people on the platform saying it. A lot of cryptic tweets today, huh? If we get God of War 2, I want a heads up prior to the show. Got to get me some adult diapers. Yeah, there's just so much hype for this. So it makes sense that God of War PS5 will be revealed tomorrow. So we've had some information that's been leaked from a reliable source, which essentially says the PlayStation 5 Digital Edition and the PS5 console realistically isn't going to have much difference. The SSD size is space. Everything's the same except for one has a hard drive and the other doesn't have a hard drive. Now, it, for me, if you're a true gamer, price point doesn't really matter. But the leaked price point for the digital edition is £350 UK price. And for the PlayStation 5 console, it's £450, allegedly. Now, I think these pricings are great because everyone can keep going on about the Xbox Series X is £250. Yeah, but it's four teraflops compared to 12. No 4k blu-ray drive it's a much weaker system where if you look at the specs of these that are being leaked from the model numbers etc the specification is 100 percent the same you just don't have you know, the physical drive so you can put the games in there i don't personally know why anyone would want to get a console without the fact that you could buy a physical game for me that literally makes no sense it's like going backwards before you go forwards why would you want a console that you can't stick a game in it for me it just literally makes no sense now there has been a bit of negative negativity today but uh, about playstation but to be honest i think think it's clickbait bullshit i really do because the simple fact is they're saying that the playstation 5 won't be able to produce as many units because 50 cent of the chips are bad you know how much bad pr about the playstation 5 actually turned out to be true literally none of it PlayStation 5 is going to be hard to get because it's going to sell units. Everyone wants to get their hands on it. It's going to be hard. They're going to have to limit it to one per house. So, of course, it's going to be hard to get. The PS4 was hard to get. It always is. I'm expecting them only to release 5 to 6 million units. So, it's going to be freaking hot property. And then there's an article from Push Square. Push Square is literally a clickbait website where it kind of likes to put everything in a bad light. Rumor Sony forced to cut PS5 production by 4 million units due to chip troubles. But they, they were aiming to get 11 to 12 million anyway. So it just means that if you want a PS5, you're just going to have to get it like that. I mean, you could you could argue that they're going to do what Apple iPhone do every year. And they release limited stock. And then they restock a month or so later. So the orders keep coming and keep coming. But I don't realistically think that's going to be the case here. But I may live stream the event tomorrow on twitch if you want me to let me know down below but like i said at the start of the video i've done so much god of war ps5 videos as we know how it ended thor showing up at the end though some people think it's odin he wants revenge we know kratos is going to be older slightly we know the long thimble winds is coming it's going to be absolutely savage when we do get that we know they're going to show a bit more mars morales off maybe some horizon zero dawn 2 seeing as the lead person for the game put a tweet up then deleted it very soon demon souls most likely probably some godfall footage probably final fantasy 16 or something on that wavelength and then maybe god of war ps5 but if it doesn't happen what is interesting is after the first event and my god of war ps5 videos went crazy because everyone wants it so if we don't get some inkling of god of war ps5 then you know what's going to happen is the whole internet is going to make it start trending because everyone wants to see what is going on. Everyone wants to see the Fimble Winter. Everyone wants to see the Long Winter. There's so much hype. There's more hype for God of War PS5 than there is for any other game online as far as I can see. So like always, guys, if you could check us out on Instagram at WarStew, it is the easiest way to contact me. Twitch.tv forward slash WarStew. I've recently started streaming World of Warcraft, bit of a newbie on there, but I'm having some pretty cool fun on there, which is pretty cool. Also, Twitter, WarStew G, which is the hardest platform in the world for me to grow. Also, we have a Facebook page, which is WarStew. We have a Facebook group, which is DC and Marvel by War Stew. So if you want to join them, be cool. Let me know down below your predictions for this very cool PS5 event that was always coming. Also, Sony is going to be at PAX later on this week as well. So no idea what they're going to reveal there. It's going to be pretty cool to see what is this massive game. Because apparently they've also got 
It's third party exclusive titles that they haven't revealed. So is the GTA game going to be exclusive? Is something like Metal Gear coming? There's so many predictions of coulda, woulda, shoulda. What would it be? So like always, guys, let me know your predictions down below. And I will catch you in another video very soon. Catch you later.